Golf Academy members and guests, welcome back to a quick little episode here about the hip slide. Now, I have to give my little warning. Don't try this unless you know for certain this is your issue. You might also have range of motion issues. So if you're not working with a pro, make sure you consult a professional before you try this. What I've done here is I've placed a, a right brace line on my right thigh and also the spine angle line. And this motion here, you might look at it and say, well, that kind of looks like me. What we notice is if I take my motion back, my right hip starts bumping away from the target. That's going to do a few things now. The spine axis is pointing the wrong way and it's going to develop a stack and tilt like motion. However, there's no stack. This is just tilt. It's shoving the weight outside of my right toe. And from there, I cannot really transition correctly and I end up sliding back to the target or reverse pivoting, chicken wing, etc., etc. What I've done is I've placed a club right against my right hip. Now, if I were to sway my right hip away from the target, that club will not fall. But when I turn my hip, you will see what happens. That club immediately falls down. Now, the goal is to make that club fall down because that allows us to turn our hips right away. And a couple cool things start happening. I actually create room between my right brace line and the target. And secondly, if you look at my spine angle, it is still in that red line which is where it started my other one where my hip slid you can see that yellow line which will now cause a lot of issues including the shaft lean at impact unless i drive my way towards the target with a hip slide and that gets that reverse pivot going resulting in thin shots heavy shots contact left and right you name it anything can happen from there and you will also notice that my weight is now more inside of my right foot and that is a good place to push off on and i push off into my left heel allowing me to maintain posture get that good weight distribution and turn and face my target and this is me now with a golf ball putting this in play seeing how this feels i'm gonna look at that right brace line making sure that i create room between that right brace line and secondly maintaining my spine angle which is the long red line as soon as I turn my hips, you can see what will happen. That club will fall down, and I'm still on my spine angle. I've created some nice room between here. My weight is on the inside of my right foot, and that allows me to push to my target and hold on for dear life because all I need to do is turn and face the target when I finish. And if you follow me, you understand that I have a huge flip and impact caused by an old loop, which was caused by heavy clubs as a junior, but I'm still trying to figure it out, but I'm doing my best job, and this drill really helps me maintain my posture so I can learn how to just turn my body a little bit more, but the goal has been achieved because now I am finishing on my left side correctly. I haven't swayed over. So if this helps you out, give it a try, but obviously consult your nearest PGA professional because they will help you stay on the right track without veering off in this black hole of swing tip theories. If this video liked you, hit that like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And we wish you all the best in your hunting for the best swing you can do. Fairways and Greens.